Dragon, thank you for joining me today. Motherfucks in Cornelia, strike 911. Confronting myself. Uh, select. And of course, infectious love. King Fighters, maximum impact. How's it going, everybody? Uh, we're supposed to be back from the week of hell. And I wake up late. Oh, boy. Something tells me this is going to be a fun, fun week so what do you say we get started we got Pokemon version blue six mon army a new seed whole new seed And my camera isn't working. Give me a sec. Let me fix that. There we go. Camera. Now, I understand that we had several of these uh, last Thursday, but that was a special event. Oh boy, and my joypad isn't working. Give me a second. It's already turning out to be one of those days. Uh, 
Come on. So normally what happens is, you know, I get to the studio about, you know, two hours ahead of time. And today was no different. You know, I sleep for a couple hours, a little bit of rest before the show. I woke up late today. So, as usual... Oh! Here's hoping I can start with him. Pokemon Six Mon Army! I only get six Pokemon ever! And it's permadeath! Which means if something, if something faints, it is considered dead and must be released. The difference between today and last week is this isn't a special event. If it fails at any time, uh, it's a dead run. Full heal. That won't be useful for quite some time. All right. Now, what do you have for us to to play with? Blastoise. And you have Golem. And Nidorino. Now, I'm more of a fan of Nido King. However, Nido King requires a Moonstone, a Moonstone that we have no idea when we're getting or even if we're getting it. That being said, I am going to be starting with Blastoise. Having a Surfer this early? Yeah. Okay, nickname for Blastoise. Sorry. Because of course I would. And by the way, forcing... No. Forcing him into Golem? Uh, yes, please. Tackle tail with bubble and water gun. This'll be an easy fight. We got this. Actually, one of the rare times I'm actually going to win this fight. than Blastoise. Since when? And I grew six levels.
six levels in that one fight. That is nuts. Okay, Arcanine. Maybe. At least we know starter on starter. Our starter is certainly far better than our rivals. Here's hoping this is a... Uh, this is a decent run. Pidgeot. At least we know we got a flyer here. My choke. You know, I do think I want to hunt down a three-form Pokemon. One thing I never did get into in any of my other runs is Rock Tunnel. Now, there is an HM in this game called Flash. But in order to get it, you need ten unique Pokedex entries. Um, this includes, um, evolutions. With ten slots and randomized Pokemon and apparently getting final form Pokemon in Route 2, this could be a bit of an issue. So I think I do want to hold out for a three-former somewhere down the road. An easy-to-evolve three-former. What's up, Amberst? Just started a whole new run! I can't complain. Just woke up. Firo? Um, I think I like Pidgeot more than Firo. So if we do need a starter from here, we're doing Pidgeot. <laughs> yes, I'm using speed up. No, I don't give an am. Town map. Now we need to go back to Viridian, get some Pokeballs, and then we can start catching uh, catching stuff. Wouldn't mind a Charmander. You know, a decent three former. Give me some Pokedex entries. Give me ten Pokeballs and start catching some shit. Alright, what do we have over here in Route 22? Bellsprout. I mean, maybe. Decent three-former. We got uh, fast Pokemon there that can wrap spam. What else do we got here? Ekans. Oh, it's Ekans! No, thank you.
Do we have anything good? We know we got Ekins and we got Bellsprout. Do we have anything else here? Pidgey. I was talking about Pidgeot. I think I might take this Pidgey. Well, at least a Pidgey. Let's see what else we got. Coughing. No, thank you. You know, I'm not such a huge fan of the poison type in Gen 1. It's supposed to be a strong defensive type, but that's really not the case. Oh! Oh! Yes, please! God damn it! Guess we need something else to weaken it. Having an Abra would be fantastic. Abra is a strong Pokemon. It's three forms. All right, we got Abra. All right, we need a name for Abra. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Wait, I got my own hashtag. So, I, I need to address something. Something that I'm seeing right now. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, look at stream avatars. Uh, look at those avatars. That black mage, username, hashtag Diamond Dragon 1985, what the fuck is that all about? Sorry about that, I just had to point that out. All right. So let's go ahead and name this Abra. Pucky. So, once my strategy is actually going to be to catch my team relatively early. You know what, what of my team I can. Oh fuck you Neji. <laughs> but anyway, catch my team early and train two Pokemon until after Misty. And the reason I want to do it, uh, do it that way, is what I learned last last week is there really aren't that many trainers between us and Misty. Huh. Guess this Abra is pretty common. So if we focus on two Pokemon, we can then uh, we can then just breeze right through Misty, and afterwards start getting. Okay, we know you have Abra. Start getting everybody else caught up because after Misty, um, there are a fuck ton of trainers uh, between Cerulean and Lieutenant Surge. So switch train Pocky to get her at least up to level 16 and get her an offensive maneuver. And then get everybody else caught up. Is there anything else here? I really am considering that bell sprout. Oh boy, Gen 1 rap. Is there anything else here? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple more encounters, see if there's anything else here. Then go back to Route 1.
Oh, one more encounter, see if there's anything else. I'm really considering hunting down that Pidgey. Really considering hunting down that Pidgey. Alright, so, let's go back to Route 1, see what's there. I mean, I know we got Arcanine. Maybe something to consider, but we have Arcanine. What do we have here? Dodrio? No. No. Not a huge fan of Dodrio. Yes, it's fast as shit. But that's... All it's got. Its moveset is absolutely pathetic. Okay, so we got Arcanine, Firo, Dodrio in this route. Pidgeot. You know, unless we can find something decent, you know, a decent three-former, I, I think I'm going back to Route 22 and hunting down that Pidgey. We do still need a Cutter. We got Surf and Strength covered. An Amberst. We need a Cutter. Alright, so that's Pidgeot, Arcanine, Dodrio. What else do we have? Uh, what else did we have? I think we got like two more slots left to look at. Dodrio. So yeah, like two or three more slots to look at. Let's see, we got a level two, a level four, and a level five to find. Ivysaur! I'm considering it. I really am considering it. I mean, Ivysaur can use cut. And that's another two Pokédex entries out of the way. F*** 
Fuck you! Fuck you, Arcanine! Where is that other level two? I mean, yeah, the experience is nice. But I would like to see what else is here. So we got a level two and a level five to find. Magmar! Level 3! You know, if you want to be really nice to me, you give me a Krabby or a Lickitung. Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking kidding? Wow! <laughs> A couple more encounters, see what's here, then we move on to Route 2. It doesn't look like there's anything good here. Let's see, I got... I need six Pokédex entries, that'll be another two. Four over three Pokémon. I think I'll do it. Ivysaur, welcome to the team! You annoying little bitch. You know I gotta do it. You know I gotta do it. And while that's going, um, I'm going to go start me some coffee. I'll be right back. Wait, you think I had to go very far? The only way to cook coffee. Right? The only way to brew coffee, a French press. All right, did we happen to get this one, was it? No. <laughs> Meow. Ambrus, what kind of kitty you got? Poodle cat, dare I ask? Polyrath. Long-haired calico-looking thing named Thief. P. 
mixer didn't happen. Really? Really? <laughs> so wait a second, wait a second. You're gonna give me an Ivysaur in Route 1 and a Venusaur in Route 2. What? <laughs> huh. Moltres. I'm not a silly huge fan of Moltres. I mean, yes, it knows Fire Spin. And Fire Spin is a rap ripoff, meaning it's a move that is subject to Gen 1 rap. It also knows Peck. It doesn't learn anything else until level 51. If that's my moveset until level 51, that is a shitty legendary. I'm sorry, I'm not a huge fan of Moltres, and I don't think it can even learn a uh, flamethrower. So over three Pokemon we need one Pokemon that can evolve. Gloom, sorry I've already got a grass type, and a grass type that's a hell of a lot better than Gloom. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like I'm getting anything good here either. I'm actually considering going back to, Ver uh, going back to Route 22 and hunting down that Pidgey. But first, let's beat this Moltres and see what's in Viridian Forest. Pokedom, not bad. Although with Abra on this team, I don't think that's going to be too necessary. Ghastly. I normally play Ghastly as a Psychic type because Ghost type in Gen 1, well, they suck. But because I already have Abra, it makes Ghastly worthless. Little bit of coffee ASMR for ya. As we absolutely murder this Vulpix. Jesus. 
And I know that I'm a Blastoise at level 12 and that's a level 9 Vulpix, but damn. I'm a level 12 Blastoise, my special isn't exactly that good. And you're gonna make me kill a Butterfree. You're gonna make me kill a Butterfree, you monster! I mean, it's good e e EXP, but it's still a fucking Butterfree! Yeah, fuck you, Neji! Alright, how's Blastoise doing? I might actually want to... Mm. Oh! Don't need to. <laughs> Not with this Blastoise! Next low kick, you are f no, okay, good. I was going to say, next low kick, you are fucked. And far fetched. You know, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm not sure I'm such a huge fan of Surfetched. I mean, I'm glad Farfetch got an ev got an evolution, but I'm not sure. Sh I'm not sure that Surfetched should have been it. Okay, so three four, three more levels for Pocky, and she hits Alakazam or Alakazam. Yeah, uh, skipping just a little bit there, are we? Kadabra. Porygon. If Porygon 2 and, Poly and or Porygon Z were in this game, I would do it. I would definitely do it. But alas, they aren't. Alright, so how many levels does Pocky need? Three. So I think we are gonna go up against the rival. Rival number two. At this point, we do stand... Uh, we are at least equal with him. His highest level. We need the experience. We'll... And Blastoise is at least equal to his highest level so our only fighter can at least uh, can at least murder him
Yes, feel free to use that all you want. That doesn't bother me. Level 14! Two more levels to go! Really? You're gonna have me kill another Butterfree? Fuck you, Angel Rose! Hey, Ambrist, Butterfree is my favorite Pokemon. But now Pocky only needs one more level for Kadabra. And by the way, I should bring up that I did add a new flag uh, to this randomizer. Um, and possible evolutions are no longer in the game, so... Kadapa needing to be traded to, uh, to, uh, get it to Alakazam, that's no longer a thing. Now, I'm not sure if it's randomized. Um, I have run, uh, like, two seeds uh, in the last week, and checked out the notes, and every time, uh, Pokemon that have that issue, uh, Haunter, Machoke, and, uh, and uh, Kadabra, they always evolve into their final form at level 37. I'm not sure if that's if that's a thing or if it's random, but generally, from what I've seen, generally it's level 37. And I really need to wake up. Okay, you can quit using Fire Spin. And die like a good birdie. How long until we get Kadabra? 395. You ready for more ear rape? I'm seeing what's here. Polyrath. Porygon. Anything good. I'm a dirt. I'm a dirt. I'm a dirt because I'm an asshole. <laughs> Damn Skippy, Angel Rose. You know, I don't know what happened with the encounter rate here, but it seems that the encounter rate in Viridian Forest is far lower than anything than anywhere else. Normally, you can't go 10 steps without a random encounter here in Viridian Forest. Good luck. Good luck witnessing anything. Ghastly, and it doesn't look like anything good is here either. Yeah, I got nothing good. And I do need one Mon that can evolve. I still have that Pidgey. 
Now, Pidgey in Route 22. But I also... And I have a cutter. I was going to say I also need a cutter, but I have a cutter. So already... All my required HMs are filled, and if I get that Pidgey, I'd also have a Flyer. And a Flyer that can evolve. I'm strongly considering it. Ultra Ball. Yes, please. And a rare candy! Wow! A rare candy! And what do you got? Gas! Really? That's it? A fucking ghastly? I mean, yeah, Confuse Ray can be a bitch! And so can Nightshade. This could actually get interesting. Do not paralyze. As long as it uses Lick, I'm good. Uh oh. Um. I gotta, I, I have to use a forest store on 35 HP. Forest, I thought forest stores healed confusion. Uh, not good. You need to hit that ghost out there. Alright, what's up here? Kadabra! I maintain my decision to keep Abra. Because Pokédex entries. I'm going to get a Kadabra here in just a little bit. You know what? I am going to catch that Pidgey. Get me a flyer. A flyer that can evolve. Then I can do whatever the fuck I want with my last two slots. I mean, Pidgeot really isn't that bad. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say Spearow, not Pidgey, but I actually like Pidgey more than Spearow because Pidgey's moveset is just, it's just better. I mean, yeah, Spearow can learn, uh, Spearow does have Peck, but I prefer Gust to Peck. I prefer Wing Attack, Mirror Move, which, okay, fine, Spearow can also learn Mirror Move. Pidgeot is also more bulky than Fearow. Where's that Pidgey? There it is! Alright. Grab my Pokeballs. Ah! Really? Stay in the fucking Pokeball, Pidgey! Really? Me 
you want, Pidgey? You know what? I, I, I'm gonna use me, so I'm gonna weaken it. This is going to hurt. Alright, we got it seated. Now we can bring an Ambrist and slowly will it, whittle it down. Thank God for Tail Whip! Let's try it again. This time, stay in the damn ball. All right, so we got Pidgey. So now we have all the Pokédex Pokédex entries that we need um, to get uh, to get Flash. I mean, we got. Uh, Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Uh, we got Blastoise, we got Ivysaur and Venusaur. We only need one more Pokedex entry over two Pokemon, and we can get Flash. We got ourselves a Strength User, we got ourselves a, uh, a Surfer, a Cutter. So for our last two Pokemon, we can do whatever the fuck we want. Okay, is Pocky close? 178, okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna grind here until Kadabra. Shouldn't take long. Although, will if we get poisoned? Why am I doing that? I got teleport. You know, I am curious as to what that level, two, what that last level two is in Route One. But. Yeah, check it out. You're kidding! That's what I almost passed up! You're kidding! about ready to pass up Mewtwo! Oh, fuck! Wow, I ran out! Okay, 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 okay! I did! 
damn near gave up Mewtwo! Okay, so what are we naming this little sucker? Um... That's why you always check everything in a randomizer! A level 2 Mewtwo on Route 1! And now I'm actually kinda curious as to what's over here on Route 22! I mean, I know we got a level 2 slot, we got, I think, a level 4? Or was that... Or was Ekans level 2? I think Ekans was a level 2 here. And by the way, no, I'm not training up Mewtwo quite yet. It levels up too slowly. Uh, I am going to stick with my plan to bring up Pocky and Amberst. Um, up through Misty. Okay, it was Gloom that was level 2. Gloom was the level 2 here, okay. So what did we miss out on here? Are you serious? Are you serious? out I've been cautious about catching Pokemon for nothing I got a fucking new new it can learn every TM and every HM in the game Wow! A Route 1 Mew 2 and a Route 2 Mew. Do yourselves a favor, if you ever run a six man army or any randomizer, check everything. It 
it might be boring, but you get this. If you check everything, you get this. Now, I understand that this team is half psychic. However, in Gen 1, Psychic is severely OP. I mean severely OP. Both on uh, both offensively and defensively. In fact, But anyway, um, on defense in particular, Psychic has the only Pokemon, a Psychic has one weakness on defense, and that would be Bug-type. Now, Dark-type wouldn't come around until Gen 2, and Ghost-type was supposed to be super effective against, um, against Psychics, but in Gen 1, that's Bug. And not only is it the other way around, but Psychic is actually immune to Ghost-type. On offense, only one Pokemon really uh, resists Psychic, and that would be other Psychics. So while certainly there's not a whole lot of type, uh, dis uh, there's not a whole lot of type variation here, that's fine. Hell, if you wanted to, you can go through with, uh, with a full team of Psychics and absolutely dominate this game. You know, provided your HMs are all covered. Which, I don't think any Psychics can learn Surf. I'm going to have to take a look at that, but I don't think any Psychics can actually learn Surf. Yeah, that would destroy Mewtwo, believe it or not. That Leech Life would absolutely destroy Mewtwo. It'd be even worse if it's on a Paris. How close is Pocky to 16? 76. Okay. So it is worth switch training from here on out. Maybe not. Because fuck confusion! You know, confusion is supposed to have a 50% chance of forcing, you to, of forcing you to hit yourself. But it feels like it's more 75 to 80. Which is absolute garbage. More grinding, yay! Oh, fuck. Well, at least we one-shot it. Okay, my choke. We're almost there. Pocky is almost there. There we go! Okay, so Pocky has just evolved into Kadabra. Now, starting, I believe, in Gen 3, Poke Pokemon got moves when they evolved. Uh, certain Pokemon got moves when they evolved. If you actually evolved uh, Abra in Kada into Kadabra any later than 16, it would not learn confusion. So now... Pocky is a fighting threat.
And I think we're about ready to go say hi to Brock. Just for shits and grins! Damn! That was a one shot! No, excuse me. Seven. Okay, so I've got... Ivy Sword that can evolve once. Kadabra can evolve once, and Neji can evolve twice. Okay. What you got? What you got? Oh, uh, touche. Kill this thing, please? Like, now? Fuck. <laughs> if that Sonic Boom hit, that could have gotten nasty. Pidgeot. Um, yeah, let's bring in Amber to get some experience. Okay, perfect, perfect. Missed that sand attack. Oh, nice crit. Well placed crit. You got another one in ya? No. And you got a miss. Uh, you can quit missing now. We don't need missing. Okay, perfect. Damn, 1100 experience? Jesus! Yeah, yeah. Light years is, is distance, not time. That could have gone a lot worse! Alright, Brock, the last official seed, you kicked our ass! I know we beat you a couple of times on Thursday, but that was a special event. I'M GOING TO FUCKING MURDER YOU! Venomoth. Well, it could have been worse. Uh, hey, uh, Angel Rose? <laughs> Venomoth just disabled confu- uh, teleport, not confusion. Yeah, I think we're gonna murder Brock. Right on! Wow! Hi. Okay, a crit furry attack? That's fine. You needed a bit more than that. Bye.
the first time we have beaten Brock in an official seed. An official six mon army seed. Not a huge fan of Bide. So we are going to sell it off for potions. Because, oh god, now Moon! Yeah, let's get our potions first. Sell... TM34. Do we have anything else we can sell? Uh, I might want to keep that Hyper Potion. Sell the Poke Doll. Um, definitely sell that. Get an escape rope. Couple antidotes, couple of burn heals. Two burn heals. And now we're poor again. Anybody want to donate to my Patreon? <laughs> no, I don't have a Patreon. And I'm going to keep it that way. Okay, so Pocky is the lower level. We're going to keep her up front. Miss, I'm offended that you looked at me. And you got a coughing. Magnemite, not as tough as Magneton, but still can be quite tough if you if you leave it to its devices because Sonic Boom exists. And I think that Magnemite would actually know uh, Thundershock. Met you in Radiant City. Do you have anything good? That Charmander is not going to save you. And you got Vulpix. You know, no wonder I murdered your ass so hard in Viridian, in Viridian Forest. You use one type and it makes it easy! You know, I think I made the right call with Kadabra because there are an awful lot of, of poison types this early in the seed. Learn Disable. I generally don't use Disable. I mean, it is a good attack to use to cut out something from a good move set, but I generally don't use Disable. You can you can also use it to force something into struggling, maybe. But again, I'm not a huge fan of Disable. I very rarely ever use it. There's, there 
is a lot of uh, poison and fighting types in the early part of this seed. Could you give me a challenge, please? And remember when I had to go back and rest after every single trainer here? That's apparently not a thing. Another bug catcher. You got Chansey. Well, I was trying to use Disable. Because I want to switch train this thing. Really? Hey, Pocky! Could you hit your Disable? Um... Fire Kitty would get absolutely murdered. So Mew is going to gain a buttload of experience whenever we decide that we're done whenever we decide we're done hitting this thing. Now the one thing I don't like about Chansey is how its moveset is really phys physical based, but its physical stats are absolutely atrocious. In order to make it a a fighting force you need TMs! It's got a lot of health, sure! But... You really need to care for it in order to make it do ANYTHING! GOD DAMN! From love. From level 4 to level 13, and we bypass tele uh, Transform! Hey, no skin off my nose, Transform is terrible. Well, on a Mew. You got any more of them chances on ya? Squirtle. Anything you can do, I can do better. Yes! <laughs> Damn Skippy, Amberst! Murder the pony! Angel Rose, because I can. You made me take out a Butterfree, so every pony must die!
All right, what do you got? Anything good? Machoke. Now we've got a lot of preparation that... Uh-oh. Yeah, that's one thing about psychics. They are very frail. Low defense and extremely low health. But we got some preparations. I mean, Misty's Ace, I believe, is going to be level 32. So we need to bring something up to match it, and it looks like that's going to be Pocky. Usually Misty has a level 18 star you and a level 21 star me But we have the uh, we have a flag that increases trainer levels by 50% So I think her first Pokemon is going to be level 24 So we need something to meet it her ace is going to be level 32 Far-fetched. I actually think I want to switch train this. Um, let's... Could you stop missing disable? Yes, we want to switch train. You know, for a move that has, I think disable is, uh... 85% accuracy? It is not hitting! And at 85 or 90, something like that? Either way, it hasn't hit once! Alright, so what do we skip out on here? Okay, another Ivysaur. Another Mew. Kabuto! May not have been a bad addition. Metapod. Because of course Butterfree. Jigglypuff. No thank you. I ran a Jigglypuff, uh, a uh, Wigglytuff in a uh, personal run, and I regretted every second of it. Paris! Good attack, maybe not such a bad choice. Okay, it looks like that's about it. Pokemon of Note, Mew, and Paris. And of course, Metapod. So now it's time for the hell that is Mount Moon. Now I'm curious. I've never... I always buy the Magikarp. Always. But I haven't checked... Okay, so the text does not change. I can tell you that the Pokemon does. But the text does not. You know, I'm curious. <clears throat> I am going to save. Because I'm about to break a rule.
Wigglytuff! It was a Wigglytuff! Yeah, screw you and your Wigglytuff! I was just talking about how I regretted every second of running Wigglytuff! TM46, what is TM46? Is it anything we can use? Psywave! Psywave is one of the worst offensive maneuvers in the game. As great as Psychic is, it has a terrible move. Psywave's power is random. It can be one. It, it's random between one, one point of damage and a power of 120. It's almost always on the low end. Psywave is garbage! <laughs> I want a King Law! Although I got Mew. Yeah, that would have murdered Pocky. Couple more Ambrose levels and she should be ready for Misty. Eradicate. Really? That's what you're throwing at me? Eradicate? I mean, Super Fang is certainly no, no slouch. But come on, Eradicate? Really? Now, that crit was horrible. Okay, now is there any- is there anything good in here that I missed out on? Clefairy. Um, apparently at the outset, no. Because fuck Clefairy! <clears throat> Do you have anything good? You know, like Chansey, I could use the experience? 
Electrode. I mean, other than Sonic Boom, Electrode can't really do anything. It's fast as fuck, sure. Out of my ears. But because it can't learn a, an electric attack by level up, it's actually quite useless. Venomoth. Yeah, go murder that moth, Pocky. Cloister. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna keep Pocky out here because Cloister's defense is insane. Yeah, use that all you want. I don't... That doesn't scare me. I blew it! Dodrio. No. Because fuck Dodrio. X Special. Selling material. And by the way, now that we have our first uh, our first badge, moves that uh, that alter our stats. You know, like um, growth, swords, dance, rage. They are now illegal because the Gen One badge boost glitch exists. And Pidgey. Psyduck and Pidgey. Die, motherfucker. Could use more Awakenings. I mean, I couldn't afford any when I was in Viridian. I need more levels. Give me challenge. Give me Chansey. Fight me with your Chansey, Cedra. Really? I mean, I understand tackle isn't exactly 100% accuracy, but that's ridiculous. Because that. Okay, come on, Pocky. Need you to clean up Amber's mess. Really? That was what, five in a row? Oh shit! Oh shit! I wanted to switch! We just lost Pocky! Okay, okay, okay. Um, Groaches, can you tank this hit? No. Fuck. Um, oh, we got a hyper potion. Uh, I can't, this is a trainer battle. 
Okay, it's 15. Grouches, can you tank a hit? Okay, it missed its wrap. Hyper Potion? I can't believe I have to use a Hyper Potion for 40 health. Okay, that's fine. Now Pocky has her, her accuracy back. That's, a, that's really what we wanted. Okay, that's fine. That rap is fine. Pocky is losing a bit of experience, but I'd rather her lose experience than her life. That could have gone a lot worse. And Kabuto. As long as this Kabuto doesn't know Absorb, and I don't think it does, Amber should be able to take it out. Yeah, harden all you want. You don't scur me. Lemonade! We replace the Hyper Potion with a Lemonade. Fuck you, Cedra. Fuck you, you smokescreen! more horsies to destroy? Horsies are chancy. Okay, so Amberst should be ready. And it's starting bite! Okay, perfect. Amberst should be ready to meet Misty's first Pokemon. This just got interesting. Oh. Ow. Um. Fuck. And we can't switch because it would absolutely murder Pocky. Two crits in a row. Twenty six on a psychic. Okay, okay. Fuck!
You know, I'm probably gonna remove that rule. No using items in battle. Otherwise, this challenge would be almost impossible on a randomizer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna remove the no items in battle rule. Well, amend it. Healing items are okay, battle items are not. Wait, what was that? TM4. Whirlwind. Fuck Whirlwind! And Porygon, uh, yeah, let's bring in Pocky. Okay, it is now Psychic type, which is fine. HP up. I mean, I guess it's not bad. Gives us an, another another hit point. Uh, gonna give that to Fire Kitty because I can. And after we beat Misty, we're gonna start training up that uh, that Mewtwo. Do I actually want to stay here, though? Or maybe go rest? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go rest. Okay, so in preparation, I'm really going to start bringing up Pocky. Because Misty still has a level 32. And Pocky needs to be there to meet it. Muck. Not bad experience. Certainly could be better. Like Chansey. And Psyduck. And Persian.
You know, the Meowth line is supposed to have a signature attack payday, and I think in Gens 1 and 2, I definitely don't know in Gen 1, but I also think in Gen 2, um, payday is a TM. It wouldn't become a true signature move for the Meowth line until, I think, Gen 3. Okay, okay, uh, how strong are you? 76 special. And you. 54. Okay. Kadabra versus Alakazam, we can definitely win this one, especially if it's using teleport. Really, Pocky? You just got one and two fifty sixth. Really? Not what we need. Although, that is a good attack. Yes, Psybeam. Yes, please. So I think Pocky is about ready to meet Misty. <coughs> Excuse me. Hitmon Chan? Named after Jackie Chan, by the way. Wait, what level are you? 27. I think we are gonna go straight for Misty. That way, if necessary, we still got so Okay. Chansey, we can encounter Chansey here? Okay, Fire Kitty. Um. I hope you don't get destroyed. Okay, okay, perfect. Uh oh. Okay, perfect. At most 15. So now, everybody gets some decent experience. If there's one thing I will give Chansey, it's an experienced cesspool. I mean, look at that. Mia Sword just grew four levels. Neji just grew four levels. Fire Kitty just grew four levels. 
And Grosjean went up to 16. <laughs> I actually think that was like... No, that was only one. That was only one level. Yes! Yes! Another horsey to kill! And far-fetched. Okay, Pocky. Come on in. Destroy this motherfucker. Really? 1 and 2 56th again! Level 28. And a max potion. Yeah, yeah, fossils, both mine. Uh, no, maybe. Uh, how about not? I mean, you have a fucking polyrath. Do you know what I'm going to do to that polyrath? Body parts are flying everywhere after that! Abra! That's what you got! An Abra! Oh shit, you know what? I just noticed something. Because Neji passed level 7 during that Chansey, it doesn't know Sand Attack. Oh fuck! This just got interesting. I could use Sand Attack. And a duo. Okay, Pocky, come in. Uh, come in. Clean up the mess. Murder this thing! Send its beak back to Kansas! Make this as extinct as a dodo! Damn right, you'll share. Level 11 Metapod, um, yeah, I think I will switch train this one. I think we are about ready to fight Misty. We got our level 24 to meet her starter. And a psychic type to meet her ace. There was an item around here. 
Here? Yeah, right there. TM26! What's TM26? Earthquake! So, Amberst and Groaches. Gotta give it a move that... I uh, gotta give Groaches a move that isn't Pound. In fact, I actually think Groaches might be at least somewhat good enough to take on a first, a first Mon. Level 16 with Earthquake. Just depends on what it is. Alright, what do you got? What do you got, motherfucker? Pincer. If this thing got a hold of Pocky, it would absolutely murder her. But thankfully, Psybeam is. Uh, Psychic is overpowered. Thankfully, Psychic is overpowered. Stop that. Weedle. That's what you got. Weedle. That is pathetic. That is laughably pathetic. Bring it on, Misty. Drowsy. Okay, level 27. Okay. Can we disable your pound? Confusion. Oh! It has headbutt. Um, Amberst, help! Not bite, not bite. Fuck! It just had to disable bite! It couldn't disable, say, Tail Whip or Bubble. It had to be Bite. Okay, Lapras. This could get interesting. I still don't have bite. Although I am moving faster than this Lapras. Uh oh. Uh oh! Okay, what do you have for... A, for offensive maneuvers? Bubble Beam. Is Bite still disabled? It is still disabled! Fuck! Alright, can you take this hit, Pocky? 
Really? Really? Status ailments. Confuse Ray. You've also got. Well, we beat Brock, but we lost to Misty. Yep, this is a rip. Because seeing, uh, seeing accuracy 55 has hit every single fucking time. This is a rip. Yep, unfortunately it is. So I'm just gonna go through the motions and make it official. This is a rip. God damn it! I can't hit disable, but they hit sing every single fucking time. But it failed? What's failing? What is failing? Um, there's something going on here. What is but it failed? Seriously? What is that? Did I just find a new bug? What is but it failed? What is it trying to do? Guess what? I think that might be a bug. I mean, this is a dead run, but... What the fuck was that? Well, since we do have a dead run, I'm going to close down Pokemon. And we've also got... So this is Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Silver Stars. Ciao. So first, I do want to check...
my controller. Now, we also have more special rules for this run. Make that a little bigger. So, I'm gonna be honest. I've never actually tried this. I have, however, beaten Super Mario RPG. And I believe it to be so easy that you can beat it without gear. So first off, Oh, fuck it. I'll do that later. But anyway. Now, there are a couple of things I need to address. First is Culex. The hidden super boss of this game. I've seen videos of the fight. And I've also looked at attributes. I'm not sure if Culex can be beaten without gear. I'll certainly try, but don't expect anything. Second, I also need to address Gino. When you first get Gino, you're thrown right into a boss fight without the ability to adjust Gino's gear. And this is a rather complex boss fight. In that case and that case alone, it is okay to use a character with gear because I have no opportunity to, to take his gear off. The instant I am able to take anybody's gear off, if they come equipped with gear at the very start, I must do so. Let me see if I can change my category. Sorry about that, I don't want to mislead anybody, so I am trying to change my category. From Pokemon to Mario RPG. Apparently, I can't do that right now. Oh, well. What the fuck is this? Oh, well. We know it's Mario RPG. Okay, why is my joypad not working?
Are you trying to tell me that this is unskippable? I thought you could skip this. I thought you could skip this. There might be something wrong with my joypad. I could have sworn you could skip this. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Yeah, there is something wrong with my joypad. There we go. It's working now. Oh, yeah, I'm pushing the wrong button. Okay, we are named Mario. Hi, Bowser. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You done did it. Now, for these first several battles, you don't actually gain experience or gold. So, it's really not in your best interest to fight them, but, you know, something's going on with my joypad. Oh, and by the way, you will notice that some attacks have two punches and some attacks have one. This thing implements what's called timed attacks. And what timed attacks are, if you press the attack button before the first, uh, right before the first attack hits, then you're going to get a second hit increasing its damage. You can also use timed blocks. Now that was a failure on my part. You can also use timed blocks, which I believe cuts physical damage in half. Hi, Bowser. You, uh, want to give me back my girlfriend? So, this fight is a little different. Normally, you'd, uh, you'd attack the enemy, but you don't actually want to do that. You want to attack the chain. <laughs> I 
I said it once and I'll say it again. Fuck you, Neji. Should fall, this should finish you off. Uh, do you have any idea who you're dealing with? I mean, I was the guy that saw your minions disguises in Mario 1 and made you through, fall through a bottomless pit in Mario 3. And you're gonna tell me you're gonna you're gonna finish me off? Really? Um, hi? Uh, hi? And you are? Title screen! Again! No, I'm not doing Toad's voice. You're insane if you're if you're thinking I'm doing Toad's voice. Uh, Bowser got her. But there's a bit more to it than that. So first and foremost... Every character is going to be seeing this. Oh, no, wait, 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 I didn't save? There we go. Mario's pad. Bowser's keep. Uh, so who are you again? Mr. Giant Sword? The Smithy Gang. What the fuck is the Smithy Gang? I want to kill Bowser! Hi, Toad. Yes, I agree. Somebody should be told about this. Received a mushroom. 
Do you know how to use items? Uh, of course I do. Do I know about timed hits? Uh, yes, I've only been using them all day thus far. Uh, yeah, we just discussed that. Hey, let's go tell the Chancellor Toadstool's missing! Uh, okay, let's go meet at the Chancellor's. Uh, by the way, I came back! Let's go, let's go talk to the Chancellor about Toadstool! We just discussed that. Well, I guess we gotta go save Toad. It looks like he's getting beat up by a Goomba. I mean, how the fuck do you lose to a Goomba? <sighs> Excuse me. I. Now, I will, I will say that for the sake of this run, grinding will be a thing. I mean, it has to be. We're losing a lot. Uh, we're losing a lot of stats because we're not equipping any gear. No gear whatsoever. So every bit of experience will help. Okay, six more for a level. Oh fuck you! Can we survive through this level? I mean, we only need two experience, but we don't have a whole lot of health. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Now, there is one thing that, that you can rely on. When you level up, your health gets maxed out. Okay, so now here's another thing. Choosing a bonus. You can either choose health, physical, uh, okay, health, physical, um, attack and defense. I didn't want to do that. But the other one is magical, magic attack and magic defense. I will tell you this. We are going to be focusing on defense. Not so much health as much as statistical defense. And the reason for that is because... We need to make sure that uh, that we reduce the percentage of health that we take on uh, on any uh, stop that on any given attack while increasing the amount of health we gain on any given heal. And the best way to do that is to work on statistical defense. Be it magic defense or physical defense does not matter. Defense 
I mean, we will gain, uh, we will gain uh, offense, uh, sorry, health, just by leveling up. We need defense. <coughs> Stop that. Man, I haven't played this game in forever. I forgot what the buttons were. Hi. You wanna do me a favor and just croak? Okay, so that I believe Yes, increase our maximum flower points. Uh, flower points are like the MP in this game, except unlike most RPGs, uh, flower points are shared. So every move that one person uses affects the entire party. So for the most part, our flower points are going to be used for healing. I thought there was a hidden block here. Guess not. Oh well. Hi. Oh fuck. Receive the flower tab. Now, flower tabs increase your max flower points. I said increase your max flower points. But they also but they also restore your flower points, which is really nice. Whenever we get those, we are going to use them. We are never not going to use them. Yeah, that's how easy it is. I get a time to tech and I wasn't even watching. So this is actually the first real good grinding spot. Lakitu will will throw out those spinies in infinite in infinite numbers. So if you need to grind, this is actually the first real good place to grind. And because you restore your health after every level, it might not be such a bad idea. Hi. Okay, so how close are we to a level up? 12.
Uh oh, boss fight. Okay, so now let's prepare. You got my mat hammer mad. You shouldn't have done that. Um, take this, bitch. Hammer time. You guys are cake. Okay, Valor Up, that is an attack increasing move. Um, still cake. Okay, apparently it also increases defense. You guys are cake. Uh, yeah, I know what that is. It's a hammer. A hammer that I'm not going to use. Do 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 do. We are never going to use that. In fact, I'm going to sell it right away. Yeah, yeah. Three coins? Sure, why not? Could use the rest, and there's a save point right there. Uh, jump on the save point, please. Thank you. I thought there was. A there it is. The item shop. First, I want to sell. Oh, fuck. No, I didn't want that. I want to sell weapons. Now, I want to buy... Um, a couple more mushrooms. And able juice. Now, we are poor. Oh. Hi, Chancellor. You ready to find out what happened to your... A uh, dear little princess? <coughs> yep, Bowser abducted the princess again. Uh, you mean the usual? Oh, by the way, there's a bit of a problem. The Smithy Gang.
Got a map. I almost never use the world map. The cellar and prepare for the journey. Uh, okay. Uh, let me in the cellar. A tenor. Hit points and oh, I thought it, I thought it only healed hit points. Okay, so apparently it does. So I am ready to start my journey. And rescue Princess Toadstool again. Now. I fucking hate Mallow. Dear God, Mallow sucks. Now, I understand that he is more of uh, more of a black mage slash paladin. Maybe even a red mage. And he is one of the only characters with an AoE offensive maneuver. But first, the guy's a crybaby! Second, his attacks are pathetic. Now, he does have a heal. But this heal is only a single target heal. He is quickly outclassed by other characters. I mean, Mallow just sucks. I am not a Mallow fan. So, let's check out our new party member. Okay, he Nikki. I mean, seriously. I mean, he... No, he doesn't. In fact, in my initial run, once I was able to drop Mallow, I did, and never brought him back. And had myself an easy time. I will say though, that this upcoming line is one of the best single lines in all of video games. Why didn't you stop them? Oh, I'm sorry, I left my bazooka at home! Thank <laughs> you. 
I mean, starting with an AoE attack, I guess, is okay. Especially for these monsters. But damn, Mallow sucks. I mean, I already have to. I already have to use a mushroom on him. Now, I will say this about death. Death actually works differently in this game than it does in your prototypical RPG. The way death works here... <laughs> Don't hit the fog, hit the cloud. <laughs> but the way death works here... Is... Okay, so... Magic defense 7... Defense 6. Yes, I'm going power. You're out of the battle until you revive. However, once you're revived, you, uh, oh, sorry, at the end of battle, you revive with, uh, with 1 HP, and after the battle, you revive and gain full experience for the fight. So, it works a little differently than it normally does, um, in your typical RPGs. And I, actually, I think... That's one reason I think it's so easy. Because it doesn't matter if you're alive or dead. You're going to gain levels. But it is unique, I will give it that. Oh, stop that. Bandit's way. And Mello, you think maybe you can, you know, one-shot these guys? We kind of need... Uh, Mario kind of needs some help. Hi. Now, thankfully, you don't need that uh, need that flower to to jump on those blocks. Now, one thing I'm not sure of is how those special uh, is how those special items work. I mean, you saw that I got once again. Um, there's HP up. Uh, HP max? Fuck you, Neji! But anyway, um, also at times, whenever you use an item in battle, um, you get a freebie, which means you still used it, but it didn't, but it didn't leave your inventory. I'm not sure the system behind that or how that works, I just know that it's generally random. You know what? I think I am going to fight him. Uh, yes, I know. I'm just not sure when they show up. If there's a if there's a system as to when they show up. No, I want you to attack the canine. Which, by the way, looks like a giant rat. Zazmos, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the den.
Okay. So now we have an interesting dilemma. No, uh, items. I think I'm going to heal. Uh, heal yourselves. Ow. I mean, I guess we need to keep Mallow alive. Okay, there it is. Got a freebie. We still use the mushroom, but it, it did, it, but it didn't take a mushroom out of our inventory. I'm not sure if that's random or if it, or if there's a system to it. HP rain. A uh, healing move, single target. I think. <laughs> Zoala's a pop tart thief. <laughs> hey, you know what? Unless it's smallest pop tarts, go for it. Now, HP rain, single target, uh, single target. I think that's the only healing maneuver he's going to get. And from here, we are closing in. It is now 4 o'clock. And, oh. You know what? I think we need flower points. So honey syrup. Honey syrup! And again we got a freebie! So, now this is a new status ailment, and one that is very rarely ever explored in video games, the fear status. I think it reduces your attack power, clearly it reduces your magic attack. Um, I think it reduces any offense, while, uh, while also increasing it damage taken. I mean, it's unique. Frogog. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. But before we go, we still have our usual battle royale. <coughs> the channel leaders! We got a tie for first place with Ambrist and Miyaguru, and in second place. No. And in second place is a tie between myself and Am and Angel Rose. 
The field is set. I still think health packs are bugged yet. Oh no, they fixed it. Health packs are no longer bugged. This could get interesting. Have this died by my sword. A bot kills another bot and then kills a lurker. <laughs> So it's between me and two bots. Hashtag Diamond Dragon 1985 just killed Commander Rude, and it's me versus me. <laughs> and I win at joining the ranks of uh, joining the tie for first place. That was weird. <laughs> I mean, seriously, there's a viewer, uh, there's, there's an avatar here called Hashtag Diamond Dragon 1985. But anyway, we will be here tomorrow, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, for more Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Silver Stars, No Gear Run. Thank you all for joining me today, and I promise, I promise I'll be more energetic than I was today. Tomorrow is special. Happy New Year, baseball fans. I will see you all tomorrow. Y'all take care.